Welcome back again. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has hinted at partnering Rasmus Hoyland with a new name to solve his side's attacking frustrations. Hoyland is a sure starter in Tuesday's Champions League clash against FC Copenhagen, but Marcus Rashford's position could be in jeopardy amid an eight-match goal drought. Rashford has scored just once this season, failing to build on his career-best 2022-23 campaign, in which he netted 30 times. His struggles have contributed to United's toothless attack, winning by more than one goal just once in their opening 12 games. Hojland has scored three goals, all coming in Champions League defeats against Bayern Munich and Galatasaray. On Monday, Ten Hag suggested that Hojland's backup striker, Anthony Marshall, could actually feature alongside the 20-year-old Dane due to his ability to play on the wing. They can play together because Anthony Marshall is also available to play from the side, Ten Hag explained in his press conference. Meanwhile, Harry Maguire, playing how Manchester United want, says manager Eric Ten Hag. Said Eric Ten Hag, Maguire, 30, has started United's last two Premier League games, helping them to two, one victories over Brentford and Sheffield United. The centre-back was stripped of his captaincy at United in July, after being heavily linked with a move to West Ham. I am happy with his performance, said Ten Hag after Maguire's man of the match performance at Bramall Lane. I have to say Harry is playing like we want him to play. Very proactive out of possession, dominating his opponent, stepping in when necessary, reading the game, good covering but also in possession very proactive, stepping in, delivering good passes and switching. Maguire was a key part of the England teams that reached the 2018 World Cup semifinals and Euro 2020 final, but a downturn in form led to widespread criticism in newspapers, online, and on social media. He was booed by fans while playing for England during 2022 friendlies against Ivory Coast and Germany and united in pre-season friendlies abroad for the last two seasons. In September, Maguire's mother said the abuse he faced had been disgraceful and unacceptable while England boss Gareth Southgate said his treatment by fans was ridiculous. United's win on Saturday evening came after news of Sir Bobby Charlton's passing. The former England World Cup winner scored 249 goals in 758 games for Manchester United, again and again. United are open to any transfer offer in January for Jadon Sancho with his career at Old Trafford 90% over. I think United know at the moment that it's not going to be a permanent transfer. That could be a loan deal with a buy option included. So I think in January that they will be open to any opportunity, of course. Of course, they would prefer a permanent transfer. That would be perfect to have their money back after what they spent on Jadon Sancho from Borussia Dortmund. But at the moment, they know in January to find a top-class club in Europe prepared to pay. And this is my opinion and not the official price. Somewhere between pound 50 million, pound 55 million is not going to be easy. So we will have to see what happens there. Meanwhile, United manager Ten Hag expects a special atmosphere from the fans in a rallying cry to help them win their first Champions League game of the season against Copenhagen. He said that, It's always special every night at Old Trafford. The fans are always so behind us. It's a strong connection. The last home game against Brentford, when the game was going against us, they stayed behind us. The fans stick with us in adverse moments. We fight together. So definitely tomorrow after the passing of Sir Bobby Charlton, their hero, legend, and giant, I'm sure it will be a very emotional evening. Meanwhile, Sevilla are interested in Man United ace Hannibal Mebri ahead of the January transfer window. According to transfer insider Fabrizio Romano, the Spanish giants want to make a bid for Hannibal. The midfielder was subject to interest from several different clubs this summer. According to Manchester Evening News, however, the Red Devils are keen to tie the Tunisia International down to a new long-term deal. On the other side, Maguire playing how Man United want, says manager Eric Ten Hag. Maguire, 30, has started United's last two Premier League games, helping them to two. One victories over Brentford and Sheffield United. The centre-back was stripped of his captaincy at United in July after being heavily linked with a move to West Ham. I am happy with his performance, said Ten Hag, after Maguire's man of the match performance at Brumall Lane. I have to say Harry is playing like we want him to play. Very proactive out of possession, dominating his opponent, stepping in when necessary, reading the game, 
good covering but also in possession very proactive, stepping in, delivering good passes, and switching. Again and again. FC Copenhagen name Manchester United player. They fear ahead of Champions League tie. FC Copenhagen travel to Man United on Tuesday night in what is a huge match for both clubs in regards their Champions League knockout ambitions. FC Copenhagen duo, Lucas Larager and Mohamed El Yunusi, have singled out Manchester United midfielder Christian Eriksen as a player. They are hoping to keep quiet on Tuesday night. The Danish club travel to Old Trafford in midweek as they aim to boost their hopes of reaching the Champions League knockout stages. While Copenhagen have managed to register a point so far this campaign, United have uncharacteristically struggled in the group phase. Defeats to Bayern Munich and Galatasaray have put the Reds on the brink of an early exit from Europe. This means a victory against FC Copenhagen will be imperative towards their progression out of Group A. United boast a couple of Danes in their squad, but it was Eriksen who caught the attention of El Yunusi. Speaking to Tipsbladet, he said, There's no doubt that he is a fantastic football player. It will be interesting to see if he's part of the team that starts tomorrow. But he's skilled, and he's a player we need to be cautious of when he has time on the ball. He's really good with the ball at his feet and delivering that final pass. He's very creative and in many ways reminds me of Bruno Fernandes. He's a top player. He's really good with the ball at his feet and delivering that final pass. He's very creative and in many ways reminds me of Bruno Fernandes. He's a top player. While Lariger is aware of his international teammates' ability, he added that there is more than just Ericsson to be watchful for in the United squad. I haven't spoken much with either Ericsson or Rasmus Hoyland, the midfielder admitted. I think there are many others who do, including his brothers. For me, it will be after tomorrow's match. Christian is really, really skilled in creating space and setting up his teammates. Like all the others, it's not just about one player. They are talented footballers, and you shouldn't give them too much time and space to find the perfect pass, especially to Marcus Rashford and Hoyland with their speed. So it's about not giving them too much room in the back and front. On the other side, Manchester United have been plagued by injury this season, but Eric Ten Hag is slowly getting his full squad back, again and again. Here there are Manchester United transfer news recap with triple injury boost, including Regulon, it's confirmed. Manchester United are straight back in action as Eric Ten Hag and his players get ready for a must-win Champions League showdown with Danish opponents FC Copenhagen on Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Returning to the marquee European competition this season, United were beaten in their Group A opener against German heavyweights Bayern Munich and were then humbled by Galatasaray two weeks ago. Their game with FC Copenhagen kicks off an important week for United, in which they also play Manchester City. United will be without the suspended Casemiro on Tuesday night, but he did to return to training at Carrington in the build-up. Tyrell Malaysia has also stepped into individual training.